some bits from the shop and then I'll be straight back. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to wait for Len. I wish you'd told me sooner. I've been trying not to think about it. Is Ashley still going? Yes, he's meeting us there. I mean, it's bad enough that I have to go to these antenatal classes, but Ashley... And he's promised to do all the exercises with me, if you can believe that. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I said I'll do it, so I'll do it. And I suspect it isn't going to be the hardest part. And do you think you'll be needing a driver for much longer? Scott, I think it's bigger, not smaller. Yeah, well, um, I just know that me talking about it all the time gets on your nerves, so I just thought you might want someone you didn't know. I don't know why you're getting so concerned about it. It's just business. I mow and you drive. Morning. Morning. How's the little passenger? The sooner it gets off, the better. <laughs> No, every woman says that at some stage, you know, when you're tired and a bit fed up. You wait till it's born. Absolutely. Now you can go to someone who's a lot more interested than I am. I beg your pardon? Surely... Surely what, Gloria? I intend giving out for adoption. And if that offends you, I'm sorry. It's actually me I care about. See ya. Don't keep mourning to me. I mean, you can go on about finding a nice lad till you blew it first, but you'll still end up with likes of Cain. So whose fault's that? I was only saying it'd been a bit funny lately, that's all. Lately? Oh, do you mean to say there's a warm, considerate side of him I'm not seeing yet? Oh, fine, I won't mention it again, all right? Yeah, well, don't, because I've enough with all this palaver, and it's just to be hoped that Nicola don't get a clause into our Danny. Otherwise, I'll have to sort that out as well. See? Youngest child's living with a village cradle snatcher, and you make a joke about that, can't you? Why, me? He must be lowering himself, showing his new pointers round. Oh, yeah, well, in his own little twisted way, he's trying to make a point. Don't let me slow you up. Just here to show these people around. Oh, well, don't mind us. We don't exist. Tell you what, why don't you go ahead, have a look around, and we'll have a chat afterwards. Feel free to poke around as much as you like. I'm assuming the place is clean and tidy. It's my job. Yeah, well, make sure you do it. Because any damage or cleaning that needs to be done after you've left, the bill's coming straight to you. Hey, we're not out yet, so I'll try and be a bit more civil, will you? You might be our landlord, but you're not special as far as we're concerned. No, but now that you mention it, be out by 12 o'clock tomorrow. I'll be around to inspect the place. I've got builders coming around. Everything's in order, so why don't you just go and leave us till then? Don't forget, anything I'm not happy with, costs down to you. Oh, look, look, just leave it. Come on. You know, I'm amazed at Zoe Tate's manner. She stood there, in the street, bold as brass. Yes, Gloria, to what might you be referring, Gloria? Hello? If you're trying to engage me in a conversation, please don't waste your breath. That's what normal married couples do. Don't be so childish. You won't be able to sulk your way through Ledbetter's press conference this afternoon, so liven yourself up a bit. Anyway, all I did was ask Zoe about I the I am not going to Ledbetter's ego festival, and I do not sulk, I merely reflect. What am I supposed to say when people ask you are expected to be there? Well, I'm sure you'll think of something. A little spin not beyond you. Oh, so it's all right me being your spokesperson now, is it? You weren't even prepared to say good morning two minutes ago. And what Zoe Tate does with her baby's her own affair. I assume that's what you were keen to tell me about, was it? I should come more often. I picked up four christenings already. Yes, don't I just fit right in? Oh, you'll be fine. Come on, come on. You should meet some of the other women. <clears throat> Helen, this is Zoe. Zoe, this is Helen. Hiya, love. Sit down. Hi. Sandra, slip that kettle back on, will you? It's me first. Same as nearly everybody, I suppose. We all get on smashing. You'll soon get into it. Helen's baby's due on Boxing Day, so we were just saying, if it's a boy, it should either be Stephen or Wenceslas. What do you think? It'll have to make do with one lot of presents, I know that. <laughs> it's funny, though, isn't it? Going from being like just you to being a mother. Very. Just a shame we have to go through being pregnant. I couldn't agree more. If you'd all like to come over here. Do you intend to scowl throughout the entire session? No. Might start screaming if it carries on like this. Oh, 
Laurel? I was just shifting the post while I was clearing up. Sorry, Mrs Blackstock. I soon have it clean. I hate to say this, pet, but I've never had a cleaner who made this much mess before. You're going to have to sort yourself out. I will. See, Lord, won't stain. I'd just rather you cleaned up after me customers instead of after your own little accidents, which <laughs> do keep happening. Get a grip. I will. I am getting a grip. Look, see, I'm doing it. All right. Well done, Dads. That's good. You see, you all thought your contribution was finished, didn't you? <laughs> Isn't. He's got to decorate that bedroom, yeah? <laughs> this is a total nightmare. Ashley, not much technical merit, but you're well in front on artistic interpretation, love. <laughs> Can you believe people actually enjoy doing this? It's generally regarded as a positive experience. Come on, you actually smiled a minute ago. I saw you. I'd like to mention one or two things about breastfeeding, if the uh, gentlemen don't mind. <laughs> oh, please. They're useless, but you've got to love them, haven't you? I'm sure you've heard all kinds of things from all kinds of people. Mothers, sisters, breast, bottle, etc. Ultimately... Breastfeeding is about the bond between you and your baby. Whatever's best for you. <laughs> See, you're getting into it now. I could actually be at work doing something useful. My sister says her nipples have never recovered, and hers is 12. And, and you're actually looking forward to that, are you? You look a bit concerned, Zoe. She, she's just a bit overexcited. Mullen's out of order, I'm telling you. I mean, you can't just chuck folk out in the street because you feel like you have to make a point. Don't mind me. It's not a nice situation to be in for any of them. It's a power thing. He wants folk to know that he's in control, that's all. I mean, if it wasn't Cynthia, it'd be somebody else. Laurel, when you've got a minute, could you go and do the ladies, please? No trouble. If there's dirt, I'm having it. Of course, decency ain't a problem to some folk. Not if there's a few quid in it. Do you know what? Ray's business is just that. It's Ray's business. Not if he's dumping on decent folk, people that other people actually like. Do we have to, again? Yeah, well, I don't need a lesson in morality from you, Terry. Well, maybe not, but it wouldn't do your boyfriend any harm. Oh, are we just going to empty that? Oh, that's all right, you go through. I think we've got customers, actually. Let's not have a scene, eh? Oh, well, tell him that. Celebrating the demise of your friend Ledbetter, are we? Dangerous game politics. I expect the landfill to go ahead regardless, mind you. Yes, well, you may well be right. Diane, if you don't mind. And I assume you'll continue to provide the opposition. I wanted to ask you what else happened over that perfume business. Oh, nothing. Ray just needs to get over it. What was all that about, anyway? It wasn't that big a deal, surely. Well, there's other stuff. It's just... never mind. Ray tends to overreact when he senses there's another man within half a mile, that's all. You don't seem your usual cheery self this afternoon, Eric, if you don't mind me saying. You just carry on, Chris. Landfill, access routes, whatever. Just be careful it doesn't backfire on you, eh? You want to be grateful you've got a man that cares enough to get jealous in the first place? Uh, sorry, Eric, what can I get you, love? A large scotch, thank you. Do you think my insides look like that? Uh, they do now. <laughs> you don't really see them as people till you see something like that. Just something else to remind you fathers what we have to deal with. They're already wondering what's hit them, aren't you lads? <laughs> Wait till you get to delivery. You can call them out you want and blame it on pain. <laughs> yeah. uh, no bad language, girls, remember? We've got an expectant vicar present. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right, enough. Firstly, Ashley is not the father of my child, and secondly, seeing as we're all so keen to share our little secrets... Zoe, maybe you should just take a moment. Secondly, I don't know who the father of my child is, because I was experiencing what's known as a psychotic episode at the time of conception. Which means that I was there, but I don't know who else was. And what's more, I also happen to be a lesbian, so that just makes me a little bit different, doesn't it? Right then, ladies. I think it's time we all stop for a bit of a break, eh? Told 
you. I never wanted to go in the first place. That doesn't mean you had to try and subvert the entire antenatal system. Some of those women only gave birth there and then. At least the midwife would have been earning her money. I've never been more embarrassed. Oh, I'm sure you'll get over it. Scott, why don't you take Ashley for a drink in the pub and fill him in on being a new age man in the 21st century? Well, I don't think I'm uh, quite the right person for that. We're all just trying to help. You seem to be enjoying making it difficult for us. Okay. I admit that if I hadn't been so wound up, it might never have happened. But unlike those happy families back there, I'm really struggling to find the, the, the what did she call it, the emotional connection? I'm just fed up. But then, of course, you mustn't say that. I thought you'd be back by now. I've swamped in there. Rona's finding sick, and they've got some sort of emergency put laying in. Back to normal at last. And this is our local. Though I should be entertaining in finer establishments than this soon, Jeff, believe me. I don't doubt it. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Oh, just a small one for me, please. Oh, come on, we're celebrating. You can drink to the generous benefits available to reporters who keep well in with their local MP. Dry white wine, please, Diane. Sounds good to me. And a pint of bits, please. Come on up. Sit down, I'll bring it over. Oh, thank you. I mean, bear in mind, it works both ways. A good reporter can be a useful ally to a rising politician. There is a tide in the affairs of men. And women. <laughs> Julius Caesar. How many times have I heard that before? Eric, thought you were at home. Clearly. When Gloria starts quoting Shakespeare at you over a drink, Jeff, be very afraid. <laughs> oh, I'm not frightened of a bit of Shakespeare now and again, Eric. Hard-bitten man of letters like me. Oh, really? How about Congreve? Sorry? Eric. William Congreve? Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Be very careful. Ah, you see? I knew you wouldn't save me any. Sit down for a bit, will you? Ooh, I get the feeling I'm in trouble. Not with me. No more perfume delivered then? Nothing like that? No more anonymous love tokens? No. There's a lot of talk around the bar about you turning the Daggetts out. That's what bars are for, aren't they? People do air their grievances. Yeah, well, the big question seems to be why. Who exactly are all these people? What does it matter? It's a valid question. What about rent arrears? What about the landlord, me? Bending over backwards to accommodate tenants that try it on at every turn. I'm a businessman, not a charity worker. And now you're shouting. Well, I'm sorry. But it's nothing personal against the Daggerts. They're just tenants. As opposed to what? People? Do you know, I'm surprised you listen to half of what goes on in that bar. You're going to turn out as daft as the rest of them. I'll see you later. She's just being awkward. You've always been a willful soul, so haven't you, Lucy? Well, I think it's a bit more than awkwardness this time, Mr. Davis. Feels like there's something not right up there. Look, I've had more aggro from pregnant cows than you've had up dinners, look. Now, if you're not up to struggling, seeing as you're, uh, you know. Yes, but I can still function, believe it or not, and I think she's got a twisted uterus. Calf's just lying funny. Come out of it, let's have a way up. But I didn't get this from Paddy. Listen. If you think you know about aggro from awkward pregnant cows, you ain't seen nothing yet, so just back off and let me get on with my job. I didn't do it just so that you buy me drinks. Shut up and don't argue. I mean, if you hadn't said anything to charity, we'd be out on the streets. So there, get it down, yeah. Cynthia, um... You probably tell me this is none of my business, but uh, is there any way you could come up with some, I don't mean all, just some of the money that you owe Ray? Because I'm sure if you met him halfway on this, you know, we could sort something out because he really is human after all. Well, maybe when he's around you, but I've never seen it. I, I could have a word with him if you like, you know, if you're up for Look, it. look, I, I know what you're trying to do and I really appreciate it. But the day I bow down to Ray Mullen or have anyone else do it for me, 
is the day they're going to be nailing the lid down. He wants me out, I'm off. Simple as that. Yeah, well, I did tell you. He's a crook. Well, nobody asked you. Yeah, but he's right. I mean, if people are mad enough to pay his summer rents in winter, well, good luck to him, but not me. Thanks. No problem. Didn't drink much for a journalist, did he? You appear to be making up for him. Yes, well, the world seems clearer, strangely enough. Eric, I can't keep making excuses for you. The meeting went well, but people notice image is very important. Oh, yes. Beat substance any day, I'm sure your friend Jeff would agree. We need to be seen to be together, unfazed by events. Well, I, for one, am phased, Gloria. Very phased. Then try not to let your emotions get in the way of what is good for us both. Do you know, if I had the energy, I'd argue I haven't. Whatever you say. Drink, darling. Thank you. When are you going to stop giving Louise grief, then? I hadn't noticed there was. Well, I had. You'd be surprised what I notice. Terry, give it up, eh? We've been through this before. She doesn't want you. She's trying to get her life sorted, and she doesn't need folk keep picking at it. She's going to come unstuck with Mullen. I've warned her. Just as an impartial observer, like. I've been there, love. You've lost one, you'll win the next time. I don't know. When I talk and serve at the same time, it all goes to pot. And if you drop Chris on that floor, I flatten you. I can't figure out why you're so useless, though. Thanks. It's not as if I'm not trying. I don't know, it's something deeply psychological, that's all. Is that dead? You huh? can go when you're ready. Oh. Oh. I tell you what, you can go when you've cleared that up. See, it's when I get near the bar. Bit of a problem in a pub, though, eh? I'm sorry, but it's seriously getting to the stage when I can't afford you. We're going to have to think of something, cos we can't carry on like this. If you're struggling, love, I'll sort it myself. Right. Well, here's my professional opinion, which is unimpaired by pregnancy, believe it or not. We can save the calf, if you do as I tell you. Which is what? We need a couple of strong lads, because... As you already pointed out, I'm not physically up to the job. And two lengths of rope. You want to turn her over and keep the calf still? I have done deliveries before, you know. Why don't you just shut up and let her get on with it? Careful, sunshine. All right. Well, this has worked before, and it's about all I can see working now. And if you don't believe me, the calf will die, so it's up to you. Scott can help. What? Me? Oh, don't tell me you're squeamish as well. You're as bad as that lot this morning. I'll get some lads up. Fine, we'll wait. Scott. Oh, so much for me just driving. Yeah, well, this is all you have to worry about. Yes, it was no, you mustn't go near the sheep, and now the car. Well, no, I'm still doing my job, and this isn't going to stop me. And as for him, I might only be a pregnant woman, but I'm still a vet, and a damn good one. I'm sorry, love, but you don't really give me much choice, do you? No, I understand, Mrs Blackstock. You go inside, it's a bit cold for standing out here with no coat. I'll have you cleaning, but I just can't have you anywhere near the bar. Thanks for not sacking me. Hmm. It's a bit of a pig, that farmer, isn't he? You think that's unusual, do you? Sexist comments, the ignorance, fine. We deal with all that. What I can't understand is being treated like the village freak. What are you saying that? Oh, come off it. Even the illness isn't that bad. I mean, at least you can't see it. It's not like this. Nobody's prepared to take me seriously as a person anymore. I'm just an extension of this thing, this thing that I don't even want. What if, right, you know, you decide that you want the baby. Give me a break. It's taken me over. I could hardly get in the car yesterday. And you know what's so damn frustrating about it all? You know what I'm starting to hate the most is that people are right. I'm not up to all this and it's getting worse. I need help to do my own job and... I am a freak. It's just... I'm the only person that hasn't been seeing it. You're making being pregnant sound like some sort of disease. I've no idea. Besides, you drive, I complain, remember? 
It's one of the few pleasures I have left. Just in time. I'm sorry I trampled over your feelings about the perfume. Yeah. Well, maybe I overreacted. Let's just forget about it, eh? Unless, of course, you want to tell me who it's from. Hey. hey! You know very well I don't know who it's from. And anyway, I don't care because I'm not going to be using it. I'm just going to smell. This is the offending item. So where's it going now? I'm going to give it to Trisha for Christmas. She'll never know the difference. It'll save me a fortune. Might sweeten her up a bit as well. Good idea. Right now, I've got a much better idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you still need me for this? Well, as if I can manage on my own. If you didn't need you, I wouldn't ask. Zoe, when do you decide where it goes? I mean, when does that happen? Well, that's all going on already. Unfortunately, it's not my responsibility. But then it's... it's just gone. Look, thanks. I'm fine. Just that stupid class this morning. But I'll get over it. I don't know, I'm just fed up of what's happening to my body, of what's gonna happen. I'm really sorry about what you're going through. I feel like I... What I'm... do you feel? Don't you dare patronise me. You're as bad as that farmer. I I'm know. the one that's suffering here, not you. Zoe, I know. What do you know? How can you imagine what it's like to give birth? To actually give birth to something that you don't want? I was trying to be positive. Well, if you want to do something positive, you can find the scumbag that's done this to me and left me to deal with it. Joey, calm down. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. I am calm. Oh, come on. I've got a job to do. 